And Niall, before we let you go, uh, I do want to talk about the White House wedding today. President Biden's granddaughter, Naomi, celebrating her wedding there. Uh, President Biden also turning 80 tomorrow, so making him the first octogenarian president in our country. There is chatter about the timing of this not being coincidental. What do you make of that? I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't besmirch the timing of it too much. I think the timing, I mean, I assume that was up to Naomi Biden to choose the timing. And obviously the wedding is a, a happy occasion for all concerned. Uh, President Biden turning 80 is um, more politically complicated, but what can you do about it, I suppose? Uh, you know, he w is the oldest president ever. Obviously, there are a number of people, including quite a few Democrats, who have misgivings about him running again. There is significant polling that points to people having doubts about whether someone of his age can really do the job of president. But President Biden, for his part, just says, watch me every time this uh, subject comes up. He contends that he's very vigorous. He points to his achievements in his first two years. And of course, we expect to hear a decision by him as to whether he will run for a second term. He has indicated that that decision will probably come early next year, Natasha. All right. Niall Stanich, White House columnist at The Hill. Thank you for your time, as always. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.